Good evening and welcome to GAC TV News. I'm John Rasmussen. And I'm Katie Asfeld. Thanks for joining us this evening. Our top story this evening focuses on last Thursday's candlelight vigil in remembrance of victims of harassment. Here's Ava Gepfert with more. Last Thursday after the premiere of Shakespeare's r &J, hundreds of students filtered into Christ Chapel to pay vigil to those who are often overlooked or forgotten. Tonight we remember that. Please light your candles. The candlelight vigil kind of came about um, through meetings in the theater department and I am We Are meetings. People's concern that people on campus who may be um, searching or wondering what their sexual orientation is might feel alone and um, hiding, kind of hiding in their room. Their only option would be, like we've seen all over the country in the last couple of months, would be yeah. suicide. Uh, and frankly, nobody, no matter what your political or religious ideas, nobody wants that to happen here. At the candlelight vigil, we ended up meeting in the chapel because it was too cold outside. Um, and there were about 15 speakers that um, spoke the names of the victims and um, announced their department that they're from or organizations. We tried to get people from all over the spectrum at Gustavus, spectrum at Gustavus so that um, we can show that everybody cares about this. There's student leaders from across disciplines and uh, people. There's someone from the baseball team, someone from the swing club, professors from departments all over campus. Um, simply read the names of people who have died because of harassment. Uh, either they've committed suicide or they've died because of hate crimes. And we just said, uh, we remember you. Well, I think it made a, I think it made an impact in terms of those who attended. And um, right away afterwards, um, I and others were saying, well, this is a good start. Um, but I think it got people thinking, and that's important. Gussie should just start talking. Have a conversation with somebody about questions you have. Ask questions. It's important for everyone to be aware of the issues that are happening on our campus and off campus. And if you start a dialogue about it, that will even make, make a difference. And we can't do everything, but still, we can do something. You may your candles. Whether the candlelight vigil becomes an annual event, it is always important to discuss these topics with your friends, family, and Gustavus community, and simply become aware. Reporting for GAC TV, I'm Ava Getfert. Thanks, Ava. Be sure to check out Cab's Harry Potter Coffee House next Wednesday, November 10th, for an evening of Harry Potter themed music trivia, food, and a costume contest in anticipation for part one of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now for the latest in gusty athletics, here's our sports reporter, Megan Gard. Thanks guys, I'm in Lund Center with your fall sports recap. The women's golf team finished strong by winning the Mayak Championship for the third year in a row. Katie Schenfeld defended her title and became the first back-to-back -back individual champion in Gustavus history. There were two Gusties named to the all Mayak team, Katie Schenfeld and Taylor Druntel. The men's soccer team had a new coach this season and finished with a record of 10 wins, 5 losses, and 3 ties. Junior Doug Fry led the team with 8 goals and 8 assists overall. Currently, the football team has a record of 3-5, and, and although they had a big loss against St. Thomas last weekend, they have two final games to bring their record back up to 500 and end on a good note. From Lund Center, that's your Fall Sports Recap. Thanks, Megan. Don't forget to check out the displays for the Day of the Dead on the second floor of Compner Vickner. They were created by the Gusty Spanish classes. That's all we have for you this evening, and we now leave you with a preview for next weekend's campus movie, Inception. And don't forget, next week we're going to have a special interview with the winners of Dancing with the Profs. For all of us here at GAC TV News, I'm Katie Asfeld. And I'm John Rasmussen. Have, have a, a good, good one, one Gustavus. Davis. Okay, okay, okay. I will focus right here. <laughs> right? No, I, right? Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm going to say, thanks, Megan. And then you're going to say, da 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 da, el dia de los muertos, de los muertos. Uh, Spanish Something classes. Spanish. And then I'm going to say, that's all we have for you this week. Next week is uh, campus movie preview inception. And then you're going to say, um, next week we will also have a personal one on one interview with the winners of Dancing with the Profs. And then I'm going to say, for all of us here at TV News, I'm Katie Aswell, and then you're going to say, and I'm Katie Aswell, and I'm Katie Aswell, and that's how it's going to go. You got it?
पाकिस्तान है What's the most resilient parasite? An idea. A single idea from the human mind can build cities. An idea can transform the world and rewrite all the rules. Which is why I have to steal it. Never recreate from your memory. Always imagine new places. He's hiding something and we need to find out what that is. We got to break out of here. Give him the kick. This was not a part of the plan.